Hello, welcome to Fun with Julian Engineering. Today when it gets dark, you just have to switch on the light. But a long time ago, that was not so. You had to carry lamps in the evening like this. And the fuel for this lamp was gotten from animal products. Example, sperm whales and also seals. That's why in the 18th and 19th centuries, large whaling fleets were all around looking for enough materials for the manufacturers to produce the required fish oil. Eventually, the whales were nearly exterminated. So obviously, a new way of producing the lamp oil had to be developed. That's why it was great a certain Mr. Gessner from Nova Scotia in Canada in 1846 invented the procedure on how to extract rock oil from oil shale. This rock oil could be used in kerosene lamps, which were invented around the same time. The light from these lamps can be easily handled, so it's possible to increase or decrease the light as required. And they produce less, less green. So the next question was, where do you get enough of this lamp oil from? The extraction of the oil shale was just not enough. So people started digging tar pits, which were already known at that time. But it was not possible to produce enough either from the tar pits. That's why in 1859, a certain colonel Drake came up for the first time with the idea of using a drilling rig to drill for oil. At first, no one wanted to rent him a rig. So he had to come up with an idea to prove himself a colonel. This earned him so much respect. Finally, he managed to get a drilling rig, as you can see here. On August 27, 1859, this rig found oil at the depth of 21 meters in Tudorville, and that's where the petroleum age began. If you would like to learn in detail how drilling for hydrocarbons developed into a high technology that we use today, come to our lecture in Drilling Engineering 1. We'll be happy to see you in our lectures in Freiburg. Look off.